A couple of other fundamentals that I want to go over are some scales. To start with, we're going to start with the major scale. And for any of you that may have taken any piano lessons, if you walk up to a piano, the first key that you're always going to be introduced to is the middle C, which is the middle of the keyboard. So on, on a bass guitar, a middle C is actually right up here on that note, which is the fifth fret on the G string. So our scale is going to go for one octave, meaning that we're going to play from the bottom up and then we're going to go from the top down. And this scale will sound like this. Now on playing this scale, this is a scale that doesn't have any accidentals, meaning there's no sharps or flats. So start with your second finger on the A string on the third fret. Now this shape that you're going to use, in other words, these fingers that are going to finger this scale, you can move this scale and this finger shape anywhere across the neck and be able to play a major scale. So as much as you're learning the music and the notes, you're also essentially learning a couple of cool little things right now which will help you in almost any setting be able to play with all kinds of people because you'll be able to just move your hand around the neck. So here, why don't you play along with me and we're going to take it real slow. And another thing that I want, I'd really advise you to do if you don't have one handy is to get a metronome or a drum machine. And a metronome is essentially a timekeeper and there is one available at rockhousemethod.com that you can download that you can have. I would always with these exercises start slow, learn them, be solid with them, and then start speeding them up to challenge yourself. So let's start at a slow tempo here and we'll start again second finger, third fret on the A string. Now we'll go back down. There you have it, the major scale.